Hi there, so today we have Sabrina's real driving test. This is dash camera footage of her real test stroke. No sound is recorded as this is not allowed. I will however be doing a full commentary explaining exactly what Sabrina is doing as she does it. And here we go. So the examiner firstly advises Sabrina to keep to the left watching for any oncoming traffic and then head towards the gates and turn left onto the main road please. You'll see the low in the driver in front gets the position a bit wrong for this left turn. They would have got a minor fall for steering. Sabrina, however, doesn't copy them. She keeps to the left, having checked her mirrors and signalled left. She slows down, so it's a closed junction and it's a 50 mile an hour road. So she waits patiently for a nice big gap. She sees a gap coming after the red mini, prepares and off she goes. Always important to remember to prepare for those gaps and those busier junctions. By preparing, you're more than likely going to take the gap, rather than being hesitant. Follow the road ahead at the roundabout, please. It's the second exit. So that's going to be the left lane. So Sabrina's checked her mirrors, and now slowing down, keeping to the left lane. You'll see the driver in front tries to avoid the puddle in the left lane. Now, this isn't really necessary. The puddle's not that deep, and we're going at very slow speeds. So Sabrina quite safely goes through the puddle, making sure she keeps to her lane. Mirrors and signal to exit the roundabout, making sure she has to check that right mirror in case someone tries to use the right lane to go ahead to avoid the puddle. Have you noticed what the speed limit is? Sabrina did is before the roundabout. It's a 30 mile per hour road. She keeps within the speed limit. The examiner advises Sabrina at the upcoming roundabout, I'd like to turn right, the third exit towards Crawley, A23. She has a look at the sign to confirm where she's going, checks her middle and right mirror, and then signals right and keeps near the centre line as she's turning right. Now we can see across the grass here to see what's coming around the roundabout, but we can't plan too early today as the lorry's in front of us, blocking both lanes. We do not want to sit next to this lorry. So Sabrina does well by holding back. Now the lorry's moving, she looks early across the grass, sees it's safe to go, and confidently proceeds onto the roundabout. So, third exit. There's the first exit. We know we're in the correct lane for Crawley as the road markings confirm it for us. Now the traffic lights here are broken today. So Sabrina just slows a bit to keep an eye on what's happening. So, second exit's coming up. She checks her middle mirror, and starts braking for the lorry in front. Now normally we look to move back to the left lane after we've passed the exit before the one we wish to take. Brina checks our mirrors to see if this is possible. She sees this car with the trailer and makes a good decision not to move to the left lane. This right lane still works. It's marked as A23 Crawley. It will just exit the roundabout in the right lane, commonly known as the overtaking lane. Two driver faults picked up here. The first one is for mirrors change direction. As Sabrina should really be keeping on the left mirror here, just in case something comes up on the left and undertakes her. She also doesn't signal to exit the roundabout. At the end of the test, the examiner makes it very clear the fault was not for exiting in the right lane, but he will just like to see her check on the left mirror a bit more there as she exits, and also make sure she puts a left signal on just to minimise that risk of someone coming up our left and cutting her up. If you're not sure what I mean, I suggest you watch Rob's driving test, where he gets cut up on this roundabout. Looking ahead, we can see the speed limit changing to 50 miles per hour. Sabrina's already within this limit, so she doesn't need to do anything here. Looking at the road signs, we can see warning of traffic lights. Then looking far ahead, we can see they're on red. Sabrina checks her middle mirror and starts slowing nice and early, minimising the risk of cars behind going into the back of her. At the roundabout, turn right, third exit. Having let the lorry pass, Sabrina checks her middle and right mirror, signals right, checks mirrors again, glances in her blind spot and across she goes. 
the examiner then remarks, once we've turned right, we'll be turning immediately left. It's immediately after the roundabout. If the examiner ever gives an instruction like this, exit the roundabout with caution. They're not joking when they said the left turn is immediately after the roundabout. If you're too fast exiting the roundabout, you'll probably miss the turn they're talking about. And off we go. So third exit, exit one, exit two, middle mirror, left mirror, left signal, middle mirror, left mirror, left blind spot, moving across, easing off the gas, 30 mile an hour limit, next road on the left, middle mirror, left mirror, left signal, slowing down for the turn and gently rolling in. Please take the next road on the left. Middle mirror, left mirror, left signal, gently on the brakes, into gear two, because it's quite a nice wide turn, and then gently in we go. And when if you're coming to the residential roads like this in your test, Always be ready for the examiner to ask you to pull up on the left. It's quite common they're going to do this. Could you please pull up on the left in the parking bay immediately after the red car? Thank you. Please drive on when you're ready. Sabrina checks on mirrors. Her blind spot, there is a junction directly to her right in her blind spot. And then off she goes when it's all safe to. Please take the second road on the right. This is the first one. Middle mirror, right mirror, right signal. Brakes to slow, stay near the centre line for a right turn. Into gear two because it's all clear and in we go. Just pull up on the left in the parking bay. Mirrors and signal and in we go. Slowing down, coming to a stop. Handbrake on into neutral, waiting for further instructions from the examiner. The examiner takes this opportunity to put up the sat-nav and programs in the route. We're now going to be following the sat-nav until I direct you otherwise. A bit of a double whammy here, as also the examiner now states, shortly I'm going to ask you to carry out an emergency stop. My instruction will be stop. When I give you that instruction, I want you to stop the car as quickly as possible. Before I give the instruction, I will make sure it's safe by checking my mirror and over my shoulder. Any questions? No, thank you, says Sabrina. Okay, please drive on when you're ready. We'll be taking that next road on the right and we'll be doing the emergency stop on that road if safety permits. The examiner checks round, it's safe. Stop. Nice quick stop from Sabrina. She secures the car, handbrake in neutral. The examiner repositions the sat nav as it's moved a bit as she did a really nice quick stop. Thank you, says the examiner. Please drive on when you're ready. Left blind spot, left mirror, road ahead, middle mirror, right mirror, right blind spot, and off she goes.
You may initially think, why does he always check after the emergency stop? Well, we need to pretend it's a real-life emergency. I'm quite aware this road is very quiet, but it's just to practice it on your test. In real life, you could have been stopped in a really busy area, and you really want to know what's going on around you before you pull away again. I thought it was a great emergency stop from Sabrina, as on lesson, she was always a little bit hesitant to press the brake that hard. And we had to do a demonstration to show her how hard she could brake. Particularly good, as... It was in the rain, and this is her first time driving in the rain. Great job, Sabrina. And as you can see, just another routine stop. The examiner asked Sabrina to please drive on when you're ready. Mirrors checked, blind spot checked, and off we go because it's all safe. And surprisingly, the examiner asked Sabrina to pull up and left once again. Pull up and left just behind this parked vehicle. This is what we call the angled start. So pulling off from behind a parked vehicle. Thank you. Please drive on when you're ready. Mirrors. Blind spot. Zoom along because we can't really see around the corner ahead of us. And then off we go. The sat-nav states in 300 yards turn left. Don't signal quite yet. It's too far away from the junctions to signal. Satnav repeats again, in 100 yards, turn left. Now, mirrors, signal left, slowing down for the T-junction as we can't see to the right. We've also got the parked cars round the corner, so oncoming traffic could be in the middle of the road. We've got a speed camera coming up here. Interesting fact, if you got caught speeding on your driving lessons, you are the one that's responsible for it, not your instructor. As the driver, you are legally responsible, even if you have a provisional license. Great idea to slow here, as the road gets a bit narrow. We've got the level crossing coming up. We can see the road sign. Can we clear the crossing, the yellow box? Just slow in a bit to check. Yes, we can. Is the light current on green for us here? Yes, it is. Oh, that's lucky. The cyclist turned off onto the footpath. That's made the life a bit easier. Cross the roundabout and take the third exit. Now it's important if the sat nav gives an instruction like this, cross the roundabout does not necessarily mean follow the road ahead. If we look at the map on the sat nav, it clearly shows it is a right turn. So Brina correctly moves to the right lane and signals right, turning right, third exit. Nice bit of patience here waiting for a safe gap. On your test, it can be easy to get nervous when you have to wait. But if you have to wait, you have to wait. It's quite busy at the moment. Looks like there might be a good gap coming up quite soon. Perhaps after this car. Is she going to take it? Yes, she is. Great. So third exit. One, two, middle mirror, left mirror, left signal, and is it safe to go across? Yes, it is, into the left lane. Now, really important to get across to the left lane here. You don't have to do it immediately as you exit the round, but you can't do it on this stretch of road. But you don't want to stay in that right lane for too long. As you might have seen by the road signs back there, and you'll see coming up soon, the right lane will go into Morrison's car park. I had someone before who forgot to go back to the left lane and stayed in the right lane. They only realised that right lane was the wrong lane going into the car park at the last moment. What they then did is they slowed right down and stopped in the right lane, blocking traffic behind them, 
until it is safe to go back to the left lane and avoid the car park. They got a serious fault for this as they were delaying quite a lot of traffic. The examiner advised them they should have just gone into the car park. So in the right lane here, they should have just gone into the car park and then just turned around in the car park. An examiner would have been fine with that and would have passed them. The sat-nav gives no instruction here, but looking at the map on the sat-nav, you can tell we're going to be going to the left. In 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Then, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. So two roundabouts close to each other here. So, first roundabout, mirrors, keep to the left lane, no signal needed, it's safe to go. And then we know there's another roundabout coming up, so SatNav warned us of that. So coming off slowly, just easing off, ready for the second roundabout. We're going ahead, second exit here. So slow in a bit, checking to the right, is it safe to go? Yes, great. So keep to the outside lane. Left signal to exit the roundabout. In 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the third exit towards Gatwick. Remember, don't assume third exit is a right turn. On this roundabout, third exit is following the road ahead. You will see here as well, it's the middle lane or the right lane for Gatwick. Sabrina decides to use the middle lane as this is one she normally use. The right lane will be the overtaking lane for Gatwick. So it still works, but it's the overtaking lane for Gatwick. Nice and quiet on the roundabout at the moment. If it is busier, we need to be very careful to make sure we can clear the yellow boxes and don't get stuck and block traffic. So when the light goes to green, today, quite easy to clear the yellow box, so no problem. As you enter the roundabout, follow the little white squares to guide you in. Now you're in, follow the longer lines. Easing off the gas, is the light going to change? Can I clear the yellow box? Yes, we can. Brilliant. New road, new speed, 40 miles per hour. Sabrina keeps our speed at 30 miles per hour. Given the weather conditions, this is quite acceptable. So, what do you think? Do you think Sabrina knew it was a faulty road and is going 30 because of the weather conditions? Or do you think she missed the faulty sign? I'll let you decide, but either way, her speed is perfectly fine. In 300 yards, turn left. So this is your warning, just be easing off a bit and thinking about where your turn might be. In 100 yards, turn left. Mirrors, signal left into the left only lane and slowing down for the red light. As the filter arrow comes on, notice there's still a give way sign, so the traffic light does not necessarily control the traffic. So check right, it's safe to go. Did you notice the new speed limit on the new road? If not, rewind the video and look for it. Whenever you enter a new road, look for a new speed. That's where they're going to be.
at the roundabout, turn right, then follow the road ahead. So again, two junctions come up quite close to each other. It's important to be quite cautious of our speed here. Did you also notice the 20 sign? Sabrina did. Mirrors. Signal right. Is it clear to the right? And there's a car coming, so we'll slow down a bit, see what's going to happen. Is it safe? Yeah, now it is. Zebra crossing. Easing off the gas. Anyone near the crossing? Nope, we're fine. Brilliant. So ahead here. So slowing down. Is it clear to the right? Yes, it is. So off we go. Going ahead. Really great to see that Sabrina spotted the 20 mile an hour limit earlier as it's still 20 here and she stays within the speed limit. A lot of people get caught out here as they don't realise it's 20. But just remember, if you've missed the 20 signs, you have just gone past the parade of shops and you might have just noticed you went past the school. So it could possibly be 20. So just think about that. Even though you might miss the sign, there do tend to be the clues to help work out what the speed limit is most likely to be. The parked car on the left is quite big, and so is the oncoming van. So great decision from Sabrina to slow down and let the van through. She then waits patiently for opportunity to go, as it just is a little bit tight here, that large vehicle on the left. It's all safe, mirrors checked, and off we go. In 300 yards, turn left. In 100 yards, turn left, mirrors, signal left, slowing down, check and see if it's safe to go, and it is, so off we go. Check in your middle mirror after you've pulled out, because if someone comes up fast behind you, you need to build your speed so not to slow them down, but of course you do need to stay within the speed limit. Looking ahead, we see some cones on the road, and some information boards and some signs. Sabrina doesn't seem to be responding to this and slowing much. Look, it's a mini roundabout. She does check right, but checks quite late. And this is because she saw the mini roundabout quite late. She gets a minor fault for approach speed. She's a bit too fast coming into that mini roundabout as she saw it a bit late. You can see this and throws her off on the next roundabout as she starts to go to the left lane and then moves back to the right as she realises she's turning right. She does check her mirror, so before she moves right, so great work, Sabrina. So, third exit for turning right. One, two, middle mirror, left mirror, left signal. Middle mirror, left mirror, left blind spot, and it's safe to go across to the left right lane. New road, new speed, 50 miles per hour. The tricky thing with the mini roundabouts is that the sat-navs will not tell you where to go, nor will the examiner if they're directing normally, as you are expected to follow the road ahead at all times unless road signs or road markings direct you otherwise. So you've really got them be on the ball, looking out for these mini roundabouts. Look for the bollards, look for the road signs, look for those clues to identify when those mini roundabouts are coming up. Back to the present, traffic lights coming up, easing off gas, be ready to stop. Ready to stop? Committed. Great work, Sabrina. As just before her test, we had a bit of a moment of a traffic light where she wasn't anticipating it changing, and then guess what happened? It changed, and I had to use the dual brake to stop her, otherwise she would have jumped to red light. Sabrina took it in a really positive way, thinking it's better it happen now, before my test, rather than on my test. And on my test, one of the things I'm going to focus on is anticipating traffic lights just like the one here. So check in your middle mirror, be ready for them to change. I look, they're changing. So I have to slow down and stop behind the stop line. Always remember, when the traffic light's on green, in some ways it means prepare to stop. Because if that light goes to amber, and it's safe to, you need to stop. Amber does not mean prepare to stop. Amber means stop, unless it's unsafe to. So always be ready to stop when that light's on green. Expect it to change, then there'll be no surprises. Notice in the entrance to the petrol station on the left. So my little phrase is what goes off must come on. So if people turn off there into the petrol station, they're probably going to come back on soon. 
So just watching for any traffic that might be merging here, easing off gas a bit, be ready for people to merge in front of you. And the roundabout, going to be following the road ahead, second exit. So left lane, no signal needed. We've got early vision here, so early decision. It's all looking safe to go. So Sabrina selects gear two, and off she goes. Great planning, Sabrina. That will really please the examiner. Mirrors and signal left to exit the roundabout. Is the crossing clear? Yes, it is. So lights are unlikely to change. So what's the speed limit here? Again, if you didn't see it, rewind the video and look for those signs. Keep scanning her eyes, looking for all these signs and road markings so you know what's happening ahead of you. Lot like here, we've got a roundabout. Following the road ahead, second exit. Left lane, no signal required. Great bit of speed there from Sprina, getting up to 50 miles an hour though. Now slowing down, seeing if it's safe to go or not. Looking early. Is it safe? After this silver car, it looks like it's going to be safe to go. And yeah, on we go. Brilliant. So wait till we pass the first exit. Mirrors and signal left to exit the roundabout. New road, new speed, 50 miles per hour. Looking ahead, we can see red lights with the traffic light and the brake lights. So checking our middle mirror and braking early, giving time for anyone behind to slow with us and reducing that risk of being hit from behind. Particularly risky when we're on these faster roads. I love the way Sabrina's giving a bit of room in front of her. That means if someone comes up fast behind her, she can pull forwards a bit to give them more time to brake and reduce that risk of being hit from behind. It also is safer because the car in front, if they rolled, she could beep before they hit her. A bit confusing here, as we've got a national speed limit sign followed immediately by a 50 sign. So which one do you look at? Generally, look at the last sign you saw. So in this case, that's a 50 sign. You may have noticed the 50 sign was a temporary sign. It's on some boards, where the national speed limit sign was a permanent sign on a post. So what this tells us is ahead there's roadworks. They put temporary 50 signs due to roadworks ahead. The national speed limit sign should be covered up. They then put a black bin liner over it to cover it to avoid confusion. They don't appear to have done this at the moment. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit towards Peace Pottage Services. Again, don't assume that cross the roundabout second exit means follow the road ahead. Look at the road signs to confirm it. So, Peace Pottage will be on this second sign as it's a local route. So we can confirm its second exit, slightly off to the left. If you're not sure how to understand this sign, please look at my video explaining how these signs work. But I guarantee you it's second exit, not third exit. 30 mile an hour speed limit coming up due to the roadworks. So we're slowing down, looking to the right, looking for opportunities to go, being positive, looking for our gaps, not looking for the cars. Have we got a gap coming? Yes, we have. So off we go. Keeping to the left lane. Just stay in the left lane and trust it's going to take you where you need to go. You can see the road markings confirm Peace Pottage services. Are the lights going to change? Check that mirror. Be ready to stop. Be ready. Now you're committed. Middle mirror, left mirror, left signal. It's still 30 miles per hour on this road. And it's not just 30 to annoy you. It's because we've got these large vehicles around like this. Imagine if we were going faster. It would be much harder to respond to this situation. Sabrina deals with it really well.
following the road ahead at the roundabout. Second exit. Check that sign to make sure you understand where you're going. Don't assume. So left lane, no signal. Is it safe to go? Yes, it is. Keep to the outside lane. And then signal to exit. New road, new speed, 50 miles per hour. We're now going to make our way back into the test centre. It's the second road on the right. That's the first one. Middle mirror, right mirror, right signal. Slowing down to judge where the turn is and to see if it's safe to turn in. We've got oncoming traffic and it is a 50 mile an hour road. So Sabrina decides to hold back and give way. We don't want to make a rush decision right at the last moment of our test and go and mess it up right at the end. There's a nice clear gap here. So just wait for them. There's no harm in waiting for five seconds. So if you notice what Sabrina's not done yet, she's not done her manoeuvre. So the examiner asked Sabrina to reverse park into any available space, ending with all four wheels between the lines. She decides to use the 90 degree method of counting three lines. So she gets into the centre of the car park and then counts three lines and lines it up with her reference point. She then stops at her reference point, her point of turn. Into reverse gear, checking all blind spots and mirrors to make sure it's all clear around her. And then she starts to reverse, turning full lock to the left towards her desired space. Sabrina realises she's going to be a bit too close to the line on the left, as you can see from the rear view footage. She does some great adjustments for her steering, and then manages to get in between the lines first time, with a really great correction while reversing. That would have given the examiner the final bit of confidence that yes, this girl knows how to drive. Let's give her a full UK driving licence. Well done Sabrina, a great drive. Let me know in the comments what you thought of her driving. Yeah!